And like I said, it, it's all worthwhile. It's like I have truly landed in the best place I could possibly imagine to land in the United States of America. That is uh, music to my ears, so that's good to hear. <laughs> I mean, my first winter here, Senator, though, was two winters ago mm -hmm. when there was nine feet of snow from oh, yes. February to March, and I saw grown men that have lived here their entire life cry. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, I'm going to go back to Tennessee. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, wait a minute. I would rather have nine feet of snow on the ground <laughs> than the discrimination that I faced there. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. It, it truly is. It's a blessing to be in this state, and it's one of the things that, like you said, with my story helped this happen, but it mm -hmm. wasn't really just my story. There was a lot of input from other people. Yes. There was, a, was it youth that told their stories? Was it adults that told their stories? Was it a combination? Mm -hmm. How did that work? How did the outside influence of people, their stories, how did that work in reality, in action at the Senate? Yeah, great question, and I will say, um, you know, I came into the legislature in 2002. I, I was sworn in 2003. And sort of, you know, when you get elected, you never know what issue you're, you're going to take up. Um, that year, 2003, was in the, when the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court ruled that same-sex marriage was, was the law of Massachusetts. And so um, I, su you know, supported the decision, always supported same-sex marriage. But there was an effort by some of my more conservative colleagues to change the constitu Constitution to say that marriage was strictly between a man and a woman. And so I spent the next six years uh, working with my colleagues to defeat that amendment. So I was very proud to, to do that and, and to you know, pr prevent that dis discrimination from happening. So you're one of the people that got me to Massachusetts without <laughs> you even knowing it, because that was one of the influences that got me here was it's like, they were mm -hmm. one of the leading na states on marriage equality. So thank you for helping me get here. Well, that's, that's great to hear. And I will say, I think that's one of the things we've been saying is that, you know, not uh, prohibiting discrimination is, is part of what makes Massachusetts what a great place to live, to raise a family, to, to you know, have a business, is that, you know, it's a very tolerant uh, state, but that doesn't just happen on its own. It requires policies like the, the, the transgender anti-discrimination law that just went into place. Right. So the so post uh, post defeating the the constitutional amendment to, to ban same sex marriage, the the next issue uh, that sort of the the LGBT community brought up was the fact that transgender persons didn't have protection in Massachusetts. So you know after we had protected marriage equality, that was the next issue we took up. And so uh, in um, my first term as a senator is when we passed the. A bill prohibiting government discrimination right. against transgender persons. That was 2011. So I was proud to be part of that effort. And that really was, really, I think for the first time, the transgender community coming to the state house and telling their stories. Um, and so um, that was very powerful. Um, but the, the law in 2011, un unfortunately, uh, the public accommodations provision was, was removed uh, because- Why was that removed, do you think? I still, I think, un unfortunately, there were still some of my colleagues that um, they were comfortable with the notion that government shouldn't discriminate against anyone uh, because of their gender identity. However, they still had an issue with um, a business owner, um, whether or not that person would be able to employ or have a transgender person come into their to their business, which is really hard to think about the fact that there was still nervousness about that in the 21st century, but there was. Right. And, and you and I have talked about the fact that unfortunately in other states, you know, they're, they're going the other way. They're actually, you know, encouraging or legalizing, if you will, discrimination against transgender people. It um, makes me sad. <laughs> it really does. It, uh, it does, yeah. I went to North Carolina this summer. Well, I went to East Tennessee this spring, mm -hmm. and North Carolina had just passed the HB2 law. Yes. Oh, and yeah. so, being a transgender woman that was new to being open and authentic, I've only been open and authentic for two years, Senator, okay. because I moved to Massachusetts, and mm -hmm. because of this wonderful stuff that you've been doing mm -hmm. to help me, I mean, now that I know this, I have my job at a school because you helped pass the sure. bill in sure. 2011 that said a government entity had to give me a fair shake at it. So. Yep. Without even realizing it, I owe you more than I thought that I did, and the, <laughs> the citizens of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. But I went down to East Tennessee, 
Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go to North Carolina and mm -hmm. use the bathroom in the women's restroom. Mm -hmm. And to think that I felt like I felt that powerful about something that yeah. I drove an hour out of my way to go sit on a toilet and go to the restroom. That's not <laughs> something that, I mean, that's something that, that's how powerful this is to me. This is how important it is to me to prove to people that mm -hmm. I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. and for the reaffirmation of the state of Massachusetts on that for me is just, it's, it's humbling. It, yeah. it truly is yeah. humbling. I mean, I'm so thankful. I'm so fortunate for all of the good things that have happened in the two years that I've been here. And it's because of this wonderful stuff that's, excuse me, <laughs> yeah. no, that's no. going on. <laughs> and I just, I'm very blessed. I'm very, very blessed because of all of the stuff that's happened up here. 